Hello everyone on YouTube land. Again, I'm back, your friendly neighborhood dancer, and we're doing our fourth movie review. It was the fourth movie we saw on my birthday movie day, because it's $5 Tuesday and it was awesome. And the first fourth movie we saw was Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, when I first saw the previous, I was so excited. I was really geared up. I really wanted to see this. Uh, even one of my friends recorded on a MPV, P3 player, uh, uh, some of the documentaries on them, which I'm going to review uh, shortly. But I was really interested in this movie because it kind of... The guy who... The, our lead singer of Queen, it's kind of, he's kind of an inspiration. Somebody who was flamboyant. Somebody who was just out there and did what they wanted. Didn't worry about people who thought. Had a lot of charisma, you know, and just the self-esteem that I wish I had. I mean... This movie was brilliant. Again, this is a, uh, it's not exactly a documentary. It's, what do they call it? A drama entry or <laughs> a docudrama. That's right, a docudrama. And when I saw the actor who they had playing it, which was um, Rami Malek. I couldn't how to spell his last name. Rami, that's right. I love this actor. I've seen him in a few other shows. He, he's a really good actor. I, I love him. And I thought it was a great part. The way you would see him preening around, even in the previews, the way he was preening around, I thought this is totally good. This is the perfect actor to play Frankie Mercury. Um, and again, this is about his story, his coming up. He is he was from another country, came here to the United States. Her dad brought them here to make a good life for them. Um, and they came up in, during a time period where with equal rights, uh, women's live movement, and with um, the homosexual, you know, sexual, you know, free sexuality, kind of like with the '60s, and homosexuals coming a prominent subject, um, and from a very conservative family, you can see how the kind of rough beginning he had. He knew he was different, but he also had this gift in him and this drive to become a performer, and he was a gifted singer and musician and it was just i love how in the beginning he has he lucks out to get into this band uh because they had lost their lead singer and he just the boldness of an individual to walk up there and just say i'm your next singer i'm going to take you guys to the next level so that which is crazy and then just defying conventionalism and telling his family that i'm going to do this this is for me and i don't care what anybody thinks and it's just amazing and then songwriting abilities i mean the, the musicality in this movie and in his gifts and his talent and understanding his audience understanding what they needed and what they wanted was just a, what made him such a great performer i mean i never even realized the symbolism or symbolism um, in all of his music prior to this movie i mean i guess you could have made assumptions um much like artwork like this is what the artist was thinking but after watching this movie and seeing a story I now know the essence of all of his music because, I mean, this is the lines where he says, Mama, I killed a man, you know, put a gun up against his head. That was a story about himself contracting AIDS, in which this whole movie goes into that whole, you know, he had um, a really wild lifestyle, becoming, you know, rich and famous so quickly. And then all the people he interacted with, which, and again, unfortunately for him, he contracted AIDS, died later in 1991, um, which is most unfortunate. But he was one of the first cases of that, one of the biggest cases of that back in the day when he contracted it. And so that music, just it just resonates. And you're like, you can see the emotion in it and the way he put it. I mean, he was it was innovative with sound and, and, and adding operatic uh, um, melodies and, and music into his, his songs, which was amazing. And people loved it. I mean, he just has this catchy sound that everyone knows when they hear Queen, that's Queen. This movie was really good in showcasing the emotions uh, between him and this band, the, the, the way they interact with each other. I love how he uh, told his previous record company, to, you don't do it my way, we're going to take some place else. And I'm sure how they felt after uh, he became the huge success that he did, all off of a song called Bohemian Rhapsody. I mean, that song is just amazing. I mean, back in the day, you didn't have songs that were six minutes long, and he dared to be different and dared to push the boundaries, and it worked. And this movie, you guys, if you love music, if you love um, uh, dramedies like this, this is an amazing movie. I mean, the way they talk about his love life, his interests, and how his coming out, it was amazing. And the way they cap it off with the um, African Band-Aid or whatever that they did in, back in the 80s, that was amazing. I mean, all these names, big name stars came together to fight for 
common cause and just ending the movie that way was amazing i loved it the whole thing was so good so well done well written definitely worth seeing you know five out of five stars on it it is definitely one of the best movies of the year i if he doesn't get a nomination for an emmy oscars you know gold and gold for that role that would just be a tragedy because his acting in it was superb um yeah very well done movie definitely recommend to go see Bowman rhapsody so again uh Bowman rhapsody is still in theaters for probably another month or two you should go check it out before it's gone you guys are going to miss out if you don't it's an amazing movie um, we'll have some more movie reviews after the new year. Again, thanks so much for joining in. We're going to rejoin our Build-A-Bear collection, starting with some a lot of Christmas ones. And hopefully that will get us through the, probably the new year. I'm not sure how long that's going to take. But we're going to do Christmas next. And then I don't know where we're going to go from there. We'll see what the new year takes. But I am excited for it. So just stay tuned. Leave your comments below. Like and share. And join. It would be awesome to see you guys around for much longer. So have fun, guys. Bye.